Honorable Minister Jorge Fernandez Diaz, dear colleagues, this meeting is taking place just days after the largest terror attacks in Europe in a decade. It was in this very country when almost 200 people died in the 2004 Madrid bombings. Since then, thousands more have fallen to terrorism across the globe. The Paris attacks follow other such tragedies in places like Turkey, Lebanon, Chad, Iraq, Kenya and Nigeria, among others. We all know the threat is global. Terrorists have shown they can strike anywhere at any time. Some 40 countries are represented at this meeting. Your participation shows a global commitment to confronting the so-called Islamic State or Daesh and to working together to neutralize this threat. We need each other. We need to work together. Many of you here have already seen the value of sharing information via Interpol. Information is the lifeblood of police work. There is today an ongoing discussion among experts as to whether enough information is being shared. Interpol's figures indicate there is still room for improvement. The organization currently holds records of some 5,800 suspected foreign terrorist fighters contributed by more than 50 member countries. But with some estimates putting the number of foreign terrorist fighters at more than 25,000, clearly a significant gap still exists between the number of foreign terrorist fighters we have identified and those estimated to have reached conflict zones. If we want to constrain the travel of foreign terrorist fighters, this information needs to be shared with Interpol and it needs to make its way to frontline officers at border points. We need to work to close this gap and Interpol is committed to helping its member countries do so in compliance with their sovereign laws and decisions. The foundation of this working group is based on trust and on the understanding that anything that is shared is not disseminated further without the express authorization from the source of that information. The so-called Islamic State has sent a clear signal that it is bringing its fight to our doorsteps and to our capitals. We need to send an equally strong message that we are united in our efforts to protect citizens and combat this threat. I'm sure your work this week will provide an even stronger springboard for our collective efforts.